Welcome to another Talking Food with Chef Carlo. Get off your phone. <laughs> I need to put it on Instagram. We didn't do it. We were chit-chatting and all of a sudden they it's go It's time like, to go. It's time to go. <laughs> Hold on. We haven't told we're Instagram people. We're like chatting Kathy's right before the show. Sorry, guys. We haven't told. Here, turn on your burner. Okay, turn we, it on my burner. What are we doing today? We are, first of all, turning the, the burner, the bur butter. There you go. Is it on? Yep. I was, that, this is one of my favorite gadgets. It's a gas uh, burner. Uh, it comes with a little um, aerosol can and you can take it anywhere. It's fantastic. Oh, okay. Well, we don't have a signal. Here. You can follow us uh, us personally or the studio personally on Instagram at Studio67NCC and look for the tags and you can follow this guy. All right. So today we're going to do crispy salmon. Crispy uh, salmon. Crispy salmon. Crispy salmon. I'm going to show you how to cut it. How to, it's very simple. Uh, the, uh, we're going to start a series on fish. It's one of my favorite subjects. And fresh fish doesn't need much cooking. Doesn't need, uh, I'm sorry, it needs cooking. It doesn't, <laughs> <laughs> unless we're making sushi. Right. Which we cannot make in half an hour. No. That I cannot make it happen in half an hour. Uh, it, to me, good, good fish doesn't need a lot of sauces, a lot of toppings, a lot of things. Fish, fresh fish tastes fantastic. First of all, it should smell. It's this beautiful salmon that we have here. Like nothing. 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 It should smell like the ocean, salted water, or absolutely nothing. That is fresh fish. Don't be afraid when you go to the supermarket and you're trying to buy any kind of fish. It's like, listen, let me smell it. I've, I've done it. I've been to the supermarket, I've been in a rush, give me that. When I get home, I open it, it's like, whoa. Yeah. Then of course, I don't have time to return it. It's like, I learned, That's let me smell cats. it. Cats? That's when you eat cats, because no, I'm they, not going to eat that. I don't, I don't think the cat. cats will even eat that. <laughs> I don't even think the cats will eat that. But we're going to start, very simple, we're going to start with the spaghetti squash. Spaghetti squash, very simply, I put it in the oven, 350 degrees until it becomes caramelized. Some people like it on the uh, raw, raw. Well, kind of like not completely cooked. It's chewy. Still, I like it cooked like golden brown. That it can, mm. it's gonna basically fall apart. And basically, this one comes like this. You Where'd cut you get it that? at the field. Oh, you oh you picked it out of a field? No, <laughs> uh, Harry Steeter. They they have it year round. Spaghetti squash is now something that you can find year round. Cut it in half. Take the seeds out. I put it like this upside down in a baking sheet mm. in the oven, 350 for about 40, 45 minutes. The way I test it is if I squeeze my finger and the skin kind of gives in, it's ready. Kind of like your steaks, you know, when you how you telling your uh, the medium rare. Yep. There you go, uh, and. It's nicely cooked, and this is what I love about spaghetti squash. It's not a complete substitute of pasta, but once you once it's done, it has this texture, this fibrous texture that you can see here, and it's, oh, like, noodles. Wait, it's like noodles. Uh, of course, the less you cook it, the more firm your noodles will be, and. This is ready. We're just going to heat it up. Uh, if you actually, there's some people that actually like it really raw, that it, they can still saute it. And look how simple this one comes out. I mean, I just put my fork down there and I follow the skin. And that's how it comes out. And it has a beautiful texture, almost like spaghetti. Almost like spaghetti. Almost. Nothing beats spaghetti. I'm going to steal some. Well, it's been, a, it's been a while since I've had some spaghetti. Before. But it has not seasoned yet. It has okay. nothing. I'm curious on the raw flavor. Oh, that's sweet. Because I cooked it. Uh, y you see the difference here? There's some caramelization. Mm -hmm. There's some natural sugars in your, uh, in your veggie. And when you really roast that um, squash, you can get this the difference in the uh, in the outside. You're really caramelizing the natural sugars and give it that. It's got a wonderful flavor. I know. That's why this one doesn't need much. And this is something that you can make ahead. Actually, I made this yesterday. And I put it on the fridge, and now I'm just getting it out. This is something that you can actually keep a couple of these guys in the, in the fridge. It's on my side. Okay. Thank you, sire. No worries. This is how it looks. How can you season it? How can you saute it? How can you prep it? 
just like pasta. One of my favorites, I'm just gonna get a little bit of oil. I'm just gonna toss it and I'm gonna add salt and pepper and, oh, it's ready. Oh. There we go. Sir. You're welcome. You're gonna need that for your spinach. I am. And uh, cover the butter. So I'm gonna look also for a nice crust in there. You can hear the And it's gonna just heat up on this side. And actually, if you leave it like that, the bottom is gonna create a nice little crunchy crust. Mm. Uh -huh. So, a little bit of salt. And papa, because it does not come seasoned from the store. But if you don't want to, it tastes really good even without seasoning. Even without seasoning? Awesome. Okay, so tell Andrew? me, Andrew, what are we doing? Oh, wait. What? Wait. Do you need to get the uh, spinach, uh, the spinach, the um, salmon? Yes. Yes, let salmon. Me just show, let me just show how, how we're going to do this. This will be fine. Oh, this will be fine. Here, this is yours. Thank you. I'll get mine. Why do you have to, why is it when you pick these up, you have to go? I don't know. It's, <laughs> some, it's something that goes in. <laughs> Every time. You can't just naturally pick them up and go. No, you're, you're you going to go like. Make sure it works. Or oh, if, if you're in Sevilla, in Spain, you go like, zarzuela. Uh -huh, zarzuela. And that's how they call it, that little thing that makes the sound. Oh. You know when they dance flamenco? Yeah. The ladies have these little things that they make. Like, zarzuelo. Yeah. And I was like, oh, bravo. There's no way I can do that. So you can try and do this in your kitchen with tongs. Arza la pata, arza la pata. You go like that. <laughs> Okay, so that's, that's basically ready. We're just bringing it up to heat. Now, the salmon. Oh, ah, the salmon. Hell, the salmon. Verse, I like to buy the side of salmon. That's smoking. It is. I'm going to turn this down. And uh, what I like to do on this guy, about six ounce portions. Use a sharp knife. The tail is always going to be there. Uh, that is what's called the cook, sh uh, the cook portion or the chef portion because eh, some people sell it, some people won't. Mm -hmm. I'm fine with it. Now, one trick on the salmon is for what, if you want a nice crispy skin, you need to cut the bottom of it. We're going to score it? We're going to score it. And... You know what's fun? Mm -hmm. They didn't scale it for me. What? Look at that. Oh no, it is. It is, it's just they've got some leftovers. You know what? I don't like it. But since we can always improvise here on the show. Okay. We're gonna skin the salmon. Okay. Which would have been fun if, if I would have saw it before and do the whole thing by itself, but... Well, shame on them. Shame on them. It's okay. I didn't like the way they... I didn't like the way they skin it. It's okay. They, uh, they didn't scale it properly. So we're gonna take care of that skin. And this can happen to you at your house after buying it. Yeah. So and here's you know, how to fix it real quick. And whose fault is it? Mine. I didn't double check it. I didn't double check it. I just went for it. I assume my fish guy did it. And always keep an eye on your production. But it's okay. So what I was doing is taking a very sharp knife and going along the edge of the skin yeah, in, to get the meat off. In theory, and I think we have a couple of videos on salmon skinning that we, we do. did we do. for the school. And basically, you want to take the whole side and just ooh, pull the skin under. And there was a really good one, uh, and I think Chef Frank 
pulled the skin yes. off. Yes. He, he showed the, 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 the other way of taking it off, yeah, which, he, which was to cut it and then actually pull the skin straight he, off the He fish. likes to take that risk. <laughs> and uh, he actually, he is a pro doing it. He is. And he takes the salmon skin down, runs his hand, and he takes the whole skin in one yeah. shot. <laughs> I'm like, you know what? It was pretty awesome. You should check it out on our, our culinary. It's NCC Culinary on YouTube. You should check it out. And if you try to pull NCC Culinary and uh, the videos doesn't come up right away, uh, there is a tab that says videos. Uh -huh. So please Drops choose all of them down. You can see all of the videos, including all kinds of napkin folds. You can do... That's right. I have the napkin folds oh, in got there. got a lot of napkin folds. And our, and our ep epically famous uh, 65,000 view sautéed broccoli. 65? Yes, I think it's actually more by now. Are you kidding me? No, people. Everybody wants to know how to pan, uh, pan steam broccoli. So we have this video. <laughs> how to pan steam broccoli? It was the simplest thing. It only took us a few seconds to to, to film and put together, but it has been viewed uh, sixty-five thousand times. Yeah, tens of thousands of times. It's like okay, let's do. Listen, let's do pan steam broccoli because we can. Well, it was in combination when we were making a, a hotel a compound butter. That, that's why I want to really to showcase the compound butter in there. And <laughs> if for some reason the video now, it has turned into 65,000 views. Now, I'm going to turn the spaghetti squash with a spatula. Because I want to try to get the crispy down there to come to the top. Awesome. Now that's going now. Mm -hmm. We're going to go outside. We are? Yeah, because we don't want to get the uh, salmon here, all, uh, all the smell of the salmon inside and, of the studio. And I do appreciate that. I know the rest of the students do too. So smell like cooked salmon all day. It's okay. The only thing we're going to do to the salmon is we're going to season it with a little salt and pepper. Okay. And we're going to go with this uh, bad boy. Oil. Yes. Can you tell? You Ready? bring it Let's go. Let's do it. All right. Let's go. Here. Bring those tongs. Oh, I bring tongs. Tong, to tong, tong, tong. After you, sir. Yes. Where's the camera? Where's the camera? He's, up, he's there. Yay. Let's do this. <laughs> Check that out. We have like run a, run a vision. We have run a vision. Come on out, Ken. Come on out, Adam. All right. A nice hot pan. I don't understand why you, you don't want me to get the... Oh, see, another thing that happens right live. The canister run out. I have another uh, one down there. Okay. See, things that happen live on TV. So go. that's a good thing. And of course, it would have been smart to be like, well, why don't you start with a new, brand new canister? Well, that's smart. Well, because... <laughs> <laughs> and, and the answer is... I haven't had enough coffee yet this morning. Have you had enough coffee? I don't know. Who am I? <laughs> Sweet. All Put right. it back in there. Here we go. Okay. So, thank you, sir. Thank that. you, sir. All righty. We're going to get this salmon nice and hot in here. So, one of the tricks about cooking any kind of fish, if you want to get it nice and crispy, is get your pan hot. If you start with a cold pot, Oh, I call saute pan. You're not gonna get that caramelization, that crust that the fish should get. Now, some fish are gonna benefit from having a nice caramelization, a nice crust. Some fish are not. Uh, example: If you're doing uh, mahi mahi, aka dolphin, it's gonna be great. Uh, actually, uh, salmon also grills really well, uh, but mahi mahi and dolphin has a nice. Uh, meteor structure they can be grilled beautifully and create grill marks uh, for anything else you just want to get your pan nice and hot now will it work with flounder just be careful with flounder is really delicate really mm. thin you can still i would you can use the whole flounder fillet i would dip it in a little bit of flour so you can keep the structure so we're going to get our pan nice and hot it's getting there it's fi what is it like 55 degrees yeah it's something like that and rainy so. and rainy and windy out here students are going by they must be like what are they doing what there? are they doing we're making food <laughs> all right 
So we're going to try to get the pan as hot as we can in the middle of the... So what I want to put down is always I put the skin side first down. And I wish I would have had a hotter pan, but the elements give us that. I'm going to get rid of my dirty I'll take that. pan and I have a clean one right underneath and uh, can make yeah, and also a nice clean set of tongs like we do. So again, a nice hot pan. Uh, I have a lot of wind coming out right now. <laughs> so hopefully we hold it like this and it will cook nicer. Nice hot pan, get the fish going, and we still, we still have a run of vision. I love it. I wasn't keeping in mind the wind that we have out here. So until when I cook my fish, I like to cook to the medium rare side. If you overcook fish, fish has almost no fat in there. Uh, it's pure protein. If you overcook fish, it's like overcooking eggs. They will become dry. Happens the same with the fish. Happens the same even with steak. If you overcook your, your steak, it will be dry and tough in the center because you have driven all the water out of the, uh, out of the protein. You can do it. All right, so we're gonna cook it. Perfect. Now, one important thing about your saute pan is that don't overcrowd it. Uh, if you overcrowd it, there's going to be steam that builds in there. Ooh, no, you're going to take away the flame. We were not thinking, we were not thinking that there was going to be this window this morning. But we will make it happen. I think Andrew is inside. We need to check on time. How we're doing with time, that'll be awesome. So I will cook this about, about uh, four minutes on each side with a nice hot pan. Ooh. And live, this is what I love about live. <laughs> we, we got the gas running now, the camera now is going crazy. And I'm gonna cut it probably, you know what? Probably Andrew should start the spinach inside there. We have that, it's gonna take a couple of minutes. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna let this, gonna just flip it for a moment. There you go. And we're gonna take our camera vision inside and finish the spinach. And it started to rain even harder. <laughs> Okay. Can I take it inside? No. We fit, we go inside, we finish the uh, we finish the spinach. By the time the spinach will be ready, this is gonna be ready too. What do you say, Andrew? I think so. Okay. Because see there's a lot of wind and the wind is taking away, away the flame. So I don't want it to go too too too. Okay, so we let this one cook here. Let's, let's get the run of vision inside now. And we run and we run. This is amazing. I love it. Yeah, apparently <laughs> we ran out of a That's battery. Awesome. awesome. I just flipped this. You just flipped, but you're I the did. man. Okay, now we need to do the spinach. So rock on with the spinach, high heat in there. I'll get me a clean cutting board. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. And I gave me a clean cutting board because we're going to finish this dish very nicely. So I have my clean cutting you board. You know, right Chef, here. it just goes figure. As soon as we just try something outside, it starts pouring rain. It starts pouring And of course, it the wind starts blowing, takes the flame away. <laughs> but you know what? Worst comes worse. You can take the salmon with your <laughs> tongue and just make scramble salmon. <laughs> that is the beautiful thing. Best laid make, plans, I'll tell you what. You can always make scrambled salmon. All right, oh, so I'm going to take a good. whole bag here. You're actually going to need two bags because spinach it's gonna cook down. really, really, really loses uh, volume while it cooks. There you go. I'm going to finish 
the way I like to finish my fish, which is just with a little lemon. Oh, I got it right here. Yep. Just with a little lemon. I like to cut the sides of the lemon. Now, uh, I know some people are really finicky about, oh, that lemon has seeds. No problem, I'll show you how to do that. Uh, I'm not a big fan of fruits that don't have seeds, that are seedless. God knows what uh, the uh, GMO engineers have done to that thing. So I cut it in thirds. So what I do is, you can see there is this little uh, vein. I'm gonna just cut it. That will expose any seeds that are there and they come off. So that's ready for our customers to have. In, even if you're pre preparing lemons for the bar, you wanna take the seeds out. It looks more presentable. What do you mean presentable? Well, you know, it's making a, a craft cocktail, you're making something nice. Uh, you're charging $15 for a craft cocktail like in, in a, yeah, yeah. in Raleigh. In, it once in a while you can splurge yourself. What do you mean? You make your own cocktails? We went to this great pizza joint. I was invited on a Saturday because guess what? We cook all the time, right? Mm -hmm. It's nice when somebody cooks for you and cleans for you. You don't have to cook. <laughs> it's nice. How are we doing? Mm -hmm. uh, we've got about eight minutes left. Oh, we're going we're gonna to be just fine. Good. That one's ready. That one's going to be ready in a moment. Uh, so I like to start my sh uh, shrimp. Why shrimp? Are they called spinach, spinach are you shrimp? Hide, are you, are you keeping something from us? <laughs> I don't know. Probably next week we might be doing some shrimp. Who knows? That I had in my head. Who knows? Okay, so I'll show you there how to clean your lemon. And that way it exposes the lemon. And you, with your knife, you can just get any seeds that are in there. Now, spinach I'm and garlic. I'm good here if you want to go out and get the salmon. I'll go get the salmon. Yeah. Now, spinach mm -hmm. and garlic. Can you pass me the salt? Yes, I'll pass you the salt. All right, great. So it's going to be great. Uh, I like to get the, uh, the the spinach, a little bit of garlic, at the end of the cooking process. So if after you, so after I put my next bag in. Yes, after you put your next bag in, you're gonna you're gonna add a little bit of garlic. The okay. reason is, if you add garlic at the beginning of the cooking process, the garlic will burn. Right. Burn garlic tastes bitter, mm. believe it or not. I believe it. You believe it? I believe it. You, I believe. You believe me. Okay, so we're going to plate this. That's going to be ready in a moment. Mm -hmm. uh, here is your garlic that we can bathe in if necessary. Oh, yeah. If, if, garlic, was, if garlic scent was socially acceptable, <laughs> they should be like... Bacon garlic cologne. Oh, I like that. I did see a bacon shampoo on the news this morning. You're not kidding. No, I'm not kidding. They have a cheese shampoo too. You got enough garlic in there? I think so. Oh, okay. Just, you know, just. just he checking. always complains I don't put enough stuff, and then when I actually do, he's like, oh, great. You want some garlic? No, no, no. Your... See, the difference is you're married. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> you want some spinach with your garlic, sir? <laughs> It's like, you know, when you date, <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> I'll go get my fish, you finish the garlic. All right, well, Adam will come with you. I'm just going to keep on making the garlic with okay. some spinach in it. <laughs> and some spinach in it, fantastic. <laughs> We're going to prep it here. That's ready, spinach ready. Adam, let's run. Let's go get, let's go get the salmon out there. Follow me. And, of course, you got to do this. You coming? He's awesome. Coming. That's Amanda. That's everybody else. Let's do this. You coming? Awesome. Awesome again. So salmon is ready. We're gonna get it off the heat, and uh, you know when your salmon is ready, when you can move it like that and it comes off nicely. And that is the crispy side of the salmon. And then it's going to come up to you, what, what do you want to serve? You want to serve the caramelized side up or the caramelized side on the bottom. That is going to be your choice and your, your prerogative, whatever you want to do. 
and the good thing is I'm gonna leave the pan out here to cool off and it's gonna be cool off in about a couple of minutes because it's about 59 degrees and still raining okay we did the best we get with the camping stove let's go inside run 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 let's not get it wet sweet and we apologize we just found out that we had lost camera footage what yeah what do you mean we left them we left them hanging in here we know yeah well that's the way it goes <laughs> Hey, live, listen. Hey, it's live, baby. So li just live imagine is that camping stove you saw at the beginning, and it was amazing, and boom. With, oh, they didn't, they didn't see it outside? Well, they saw some of it, and then uh, we had the rain issue, and then I don't know. Well, we'll listen. We'll have to look at it later. Live TV. This is what we do. This is how we do it. And no, I'm not going to sing because I'm not. I'm a cook. That's good. Thank you. <laughs> that's what I do. I'm a cook. <laughs> I'm not a singer. Like, look at that. Now, top it up with a little bit of spinach. Mm -hmm. Just give it a little green on top of there. All right. Mmm, look at that, man. I mean, I'm making fun of the garlic, but it smells delicious. It does. <laughs> I'm not making fun of your garlic, but and right before it goes on, just just a little sprinkle of lemon. But what about if your customer doesn't like lemon? Well, you know, we're not going to sell this one. This is for us. This is for us. These are the two best pieces mm -hmm. that, I, that I like. And uh, extra lemon if you want. And that is it. All right. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. I don't know which camera footage you, you lost in there. <laughs> but uh, saute garlic spinach. Your um, spaghetti squash can be done the day before. Finish it up on a nice saute, as you can see. Salmon cooks in, in about eight minutes, four in each side. Boom. You're good to go. Make sure that your fish guy, when you tell him to remove the scales, he removes the scales. There you go. Don't pull this one and double check. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you, guys. You got questions or comments, leave them on uh, the comments below on either YouTube and or Facebook. And we'll be back next week with another healthy. Oh, yeah. Healthy this is healthy. Did you healthy see now. any, did you see any like butter? Or no. like, we forgot to mention about that. We don't have that much butter. Um, no. Although, I can always shower it with a little bit of olive oil. There it's you go. delicious. <laughs> Thank you very much. We'll see you next week. See you guys. Where's the black? Sheep?